of the same style of discipline. Yeah, most definitely. I do agree with that. Um, so. I feel like um, I think that, you know, all of that is great, you know, but I think that it it also comes with time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if it's a fresh relationship, things are always kind of delicate. And right. people should get a feel, you know, for – the kids and how the kids' personalities are and maybe the kids have been through a lot or maybe the kids are used to a certain way and, you know, mm-hmm. now there's a new situation coming about um, to where they have to get used to a new set of rules or, you know, things are just a lot different. Where like before, let's say they was used to mom having like an open door policy, but now you have to knock on mom door you know yeah. so it's just you know you, Adjusting, you just right. have to be real delicate with kids but now when they're older and then you that's the part I'm dreading the teenage mm-hmm. years where the talk back and the I said I don't want to go and the closing of the door and he ate my daddy and she ate my real oh. mama and all this other stuff yeah you know <gasps> my heart goes out to those relationships but if it starts out on a respect basis to where just because you're an adult and you feel like a kid got to respect you just off that premise, then I think it's bound to fail. If if you enter it like, you know, you treat the child with it, the same respect that you want, you have to treat the uh-huh. child with the same respect. A child should stay in a child's place, but the child definitely deserves, you know, like respect. Most definitely. I think I'm like you, Seneca. I'm most definitely dreading the teenage years, especially with two girls and future five girls. Oh, my God. Oh, God. My heart just dropped my throat. That's going to be real, 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 real tough. Real yeah, tough. Yeah, it is. It is. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Five really, girls in really. one house. That's five. That's five, period. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Wow. 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 That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, beauty salon time. Y'all going to be in the beauty salon all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Crazy. Y'all going to have to ask somebody to come out to the house. Yeah. But it'll be cool though. It'll be nice. Yeah. I can't. I can't lie. I'm like, you know, it's exciting and you know, nerve wracking at the same time. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. So, how do you guys feel about the other person disciplining your kids and kind of like, let's say, telling you that you're not doing a good job of Discipline of your own kids. Oh. Um, I don't know. I think I, my feelings get hurt really, really easy. So I think, <laughs> well, to a certain extent, my feelings get hurt really, really easy. So I think like that would probably hurt my feelings a little bit. I know how to take constructive criticism, so. I most definitely take that constructive criticism, and maybe if it's something maybe that I really can change, then I will. But if it's just some BS that you just saying off out, you know, just talking out your ass, like, no, I'm not gonna listen to you. Yeah, because I'm I acting like... like I'm listening to you. I'm good at acting like I'm listening, but I'm really not. <laughs> it's like received great. But when you won't let my kids be kids, it's like, okay, they're wild, but, I mean, you're an adult and you have traffic tickets and shit, you know? You're not perfect. (laughs) You still won't do shit right. You're still driving on a suspended license. (laughs) When are you going to grow up? (laughs) I feel like, um, I feel like, it's not always what's said, it's how things are said, too, though. Like, because like you said, um, I can take constructive criticism, and if it's 
if it's something that like you legitimately have concern and that's why you're coming to me and you feel like and you come to me like in a manner that's respectful and you're not coming to me like yeah, yeah. In defense mode because I'm gonna get it's my child so yeah hell yeah I'm gonna get on fucking straight defense mode what do you mean that's my that's my child I carried that baby in my body like do you have any, there's no connection, like a mother's connection to their child, period. So I just feel like, yeah, it's how it's said and, and how they come at you about it and like really what it is too, because some things are going to be more touchy than others, you know? Mm-hmm. But like, like, okay, I'll just throw my own personal in there. Sometimes I like to tap, tap, you know, he feels like I shouldn't have to tap, tap. I should just be, you know, more stern with my words. And I feel like that shit don't work for me. So I tap, tap. And then we I'm go a, back and forth on that. Now, I most definitely am a stern philosopher that what works for the dad doesn't always work for the mom. Mm-hmm. That's true. True. So And each child is different. So... Mm-hmm. Each child in your family, like every, if you have multiple children, you know that, like you've seen, like okay, this child is was this way, but this child was a different way. Like they're always different. So I mean, I don't know. It's like your judgment, you know. What I mean, you know, you know what works best with your own child. It's your child. Yeah, men don't like, like to hear that. Like they feel like you, they feel like you're being smart when you be like, I know, you know what I mean, like. I know what's best for the kids. Like, I've been here, done that. They don't like to hear that shit. They be like, whatever. You need to listen to what I'm saying. Like, no. My grandma says, what well, works for the goose doesn't always work for the gander. Okay. <laughs> now. All right, now, Granny. Okay. I think, that, I think that's how she said it. <laughs> Something like that. Y'all know what I meant. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a firm believer that, you know, what works for the dad doesn't necessarily work for the mom. So you just have to figure out a way where, you know, I don't know. Uh-huh. I, I agree with that, though. Where everybody can come to agreement is like, okay, yeah, I understand it now. But you don't want to hurt your boss's feelings like being rude either. Mm-hmm. Who the hell whispering? Oh, oh that no. was me. I'm sorry. I, Secrets are lies. I a moment. I'm sorry. I'm talking sorry. to the kids and shit. No, 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 no. I was talking to the mistress. Sorry. Oh. Oh, sorry. But, I had to um, say something. But, yeah. He asked me if I was pointing him out. I said, well, I mean, who else do I have to go off of? So, yeah. Is he going to be mad? <laughs> off? I am. Uh, well, yeah. See, 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 see now. They be contradicting. They be contradicting. They be like, man, don't be talking about me. And then when you talk about somebody else, then they be mad. So you know, it's about to lose, lose. <laughs> uh, it's funny as hell. <laughs> he be all right. He be all right. What's our next topic? Um. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't feed my face all during the show because y'all know by the time we get off air. Bad girl shit. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I was baking cookies and then I was like, oh, shit, I didn't set my timer, so I burned one of those batches of cookies, but uh, we won't talk about no. that. Oh, <laughs> you're making this shit. No. Huh? I, don't. I need to come where you at. What kind of cookies are you making? Oh, I made some um, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, shit. Out the road or the individual one? Oh, no, girl. I don't do that. Uh-uh. These are homemade. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Betty Crocker in the house. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make homemade cookies? Well, you know, today I tried a new recipe, and I kind of tweaked it because I like to tweak recipes. But um, it's literally just like flour and brown sugar and white sugar and butter and eggs and vanilla uh, baking soda or baking powder, depending on which kind of cookie you like. That's it. 
Yo bacon, oh. yo baby cracker bacon right. egg. Okay. And then a little I'm, flour I'm, on your nose. And then you know, like your chocolate chips, whatever kind of chocolate chips you like. And then I put walnuts in mine because I like walnuts. Oh, and vanilla extract in the vanilla. Oh, <laughs> okay. She is fifth wife. Oh, that sounds so good. See, I don't do cookies. Dish. I love pies and cakes. Like, I can bake the hell out of a pie and a cake. Oh, oh yeah. I love baking cakes. Yeah, that's my shit. I love. I don't do that's cookies too much. But, um, well, I can't say that. I did gingerbread cookies. I made gingerbread cookies with the girls over Christmas. Did they Christmas. turn out? Yes, they did. Girl, but how the hell? But to that, some extent, that, that, what happened... That. See now what happens when my when my gingerbread cookies like right? when you're cooking with kids, they like to play in the flour. So you have to be careful because like your gingerbread <laughs> some of your gingerbread cookies be kind of white on the outside when you put them in the oven because they put you know what I mean they pat too much flour to keep it <laughs> because they're on great their hands. helpers. They're such right. great helpers. They yes, help they out are. so well. Oh gosh! Oh, thank you so much. You're just helping out. Oh, yep. Mhm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, not a problem. It'll just taste. Helping out that duck but... can't eat later. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like we do want to eat and decorate these gingerbread cookies later. Like I don't want to eat flour cookies for real. Funny. Especially yeah, my I... youngest one. Like she gets a kick out of the flour. I... She's like, Mom, the dough's sticking to my hand. I need some fire. I'm like, I don't see no dough on your hand. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's right here. And it'd be like the littlest piece of dough. you like, right? really? <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. <sighs> All right. Well, we're going to take a quick music break, and we'll be back um, with uh, what age is too old to be single? Ooh. <laughs> oh, is there an age that's too old to be single? So we're gonna go right into Bryson Tiller with Exchange right here on Tone Death Radio. Keep it locked. Get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, fuck, I want it to be different, yeah. Waiting on a sign, guess it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save her for me. Do this one favor for me. I had to change my play ways, got way too complicated for me. I hope she's waiting for me. Everywhere she go, they play my songs. That's why I say the things that I say that way. So give me all of you in exchange for me Just give me all of you in exchange for me For me Break it down Yes sir Up and then stay up, have sex and then blow dang. I shouldn't have played no games with you, just level up my brain. Last time I saw you win speak, that was strange. Guess there's nothing I could do. Man, it's true. X has changed, yeah. Hey, guess you changed for the better. Better. I know you know how to make me jealous. I was never loyal, let you tell it, yo. But I'm ready to fix it if you ready, baby. So, so, yeah. So give me all of you in exchange for me. Just give me all of you in exchange for me, for me. For real, Sean. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Is you at two keys or ten roof? <laughs> Turn up, we until it, we just getting loose. Baby, I'm low key feeling you. Don't be cynical, won't fuck you over, wanna fuck you over. And again, the truth is, I ain't really here to start problems. Girl, I swear to God, them hoes can't never say they got him. 
know how bad you wanna tell him, don't try him. I don't wanna tell him, let's surprise him. I don't wanna get into it, why you stressing him? I've been driving back and forth from Louisville to Lexington. Mileage on the whip, got your ass in my grip.